Hello, uh, this is my second part of the introduction to what exactly is Internet of Things. In the first part, I have defined Internet of Things in, you know, there are three main components if you would like to see. The first one will be the sensors, uh, the actuators, and secondly is the connectivity. And the thirdly, it must have an application or as some part of analytics. So, before even we start to look at the various parts of Internet of Things, you want to know why only now that people have been talking about this topic? What makes it possible? There are many technologies that combine together that enable the Internet of Things. So if you look at the last five, 10 years, for example, uh, the sensors are becoming more cheaper, 50% cheaper than before. Uh, that, you know, becoming more smaller and becoming uh, high computation and all that. But on top of that, uh, the bandwidth that we are looking at is 40 times cheaper. You know, you remember the days when we only have like 300 bits per second, 1.2 kilobits, 64 kilobits per second. Now what we are having is like 64 megabit per second and all that. So, you know, 60 megabit or even some areas you can have even 100 megabit per second. It depends whether it's wireless or fixed network. As I said, when uh, the sensors are becoming cheaper, you can see that there are ways that we can embed uh, processing power into the sensors themselves. Uh, the device will have uh, more intelligence within that and uh, it's become 60 times cheaper. The smartphone has now becoming your personal gateway to the internet. Almost all the people around the world uh, either have normal phones or the smartphones and Internet of Things require either you use your smartphone as a ticket way to the internet because most of the sensors doesn't have a, a direct uh, internet access. And uh, as we know nowadays, uh, the wireless coverage is becoming more ubiquitous. You can have free Wi-Fi, uh, even GPRS is everywhere, 3G, now people are moving to 4G. And big data is one of the biggest component in Internet of Things, without big data, you are unable to make uh, uh, get deeper insights to the data that you have collected from various uh, sources of uh, data, either it's from sensors or any from back-end uh, system. And finally, you will see that IPv6 is one of the things that uh, without individual uh, addressable IP, you, you know, IPv4 will not be able to solve this problem. So you might require IPv6. So with that, it, it changed the whole uh, landscape uh, with the cloud, mobility, and big data. That are the technologies that will combine and make Internet of Things possible. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, we meet again in the next session.